Five Points Gaming here, and we are gonna do this now, and I am back with another mismatch edition of Madden 16. Here, this time I went with the Bears versus the Giants. Should have gone with the Twinks versus the Bears, but that would have been like over the top. And you'll notice the theme here is the East-West Bowl. That's right, my favorite skit from Key and Peele. Jack Marius, Tech Theretic, starting at tight end up against Quackadilly Blip. Oh boy, this is going to be a game for the ages right here. Quattro, Quattro, Ibrahim Moises out there. Look at him readying up, dapping up. And here's our first player. First name, last name, college, university. That's right, first name, last name, leading things off, and he's gonna kick it to my boy. TJ Jackson, Wayne State University. That's right, TJ Jackson is ready for that opening kickoff. Look how hype everyone is, and before you say, oh my gosh, you're copying so and so with this video, let me tell you something, this video has been done a lot, okay? And the concept is not very original of matching up huge players versus small players. So before you hit comment, think and read the description. All right? And here he is, Demarcus Williams, coming out to lead this squad in a game. Demarcus Williams, University of Georgia. That we all love. Yes, Demarcus Williams, here to lead the team here. Look at how disproportionate, Lam Slim Stewart. <laughs> Look at how disproportionately huge my players are against these little skinny midgets that did not eat their protein and they are going to get a big load of tj juxon and he's just going to walk into the end zone his first actually he's going to stumble into the end zone like a drunk ass mofo there's hangle mccringleberry oh and tj juxon look at him dancing in stride together look at that touchdown baby and we are up six nothing oh look at the game clip recorded a big fat man just running past a bunch of moronic, skinny little runts. These kids would not have made it in the movie 300. They would have been discarded because they were small little teeny people. Look at how freaking moronic these guys are. And Dilwar just picks up the ball. And we are in business and underway here trying to kick these dudes' asses. Look at, and here's my favorite player. You know him. Let's give him to his introduction here. A.A. Ron Balake, Morehouse College. That's right. A.A. Ron Balake, my boy, coming in there. And Contessa Smith, just getting great to start here. Look at, look. Uh, oh, oh, Ibrahim Bunkshake, Sequester Gundaplot, MD. Oh my gosh, they're just all over him. So many great names. Benedict Cumberbatch is the punter right there. <laughs> oh, I'm loving it. I'm just loving it here. Ibrahim Moizu scores the touchdown. And here I started noticing that off the kickoff, how stupid these players are. And they just look at the ball like it's hand egg or something. Whew, there's Contest for Smith. I want to know here on this play action, though, what is Bismo Funyuns doing over there on the left side? As A.A. Ron Black Balake throws it to e -he -he, e -he. But look at Bismo Funyuns just doing the moonwalk over there during play action. And e -he -he -he. Oh, yes. So much comedy in these videos here. When you match up huge six foot tall, no, it's not six foot, seven foot tall. 400 pound dudes against five foot nothing, 160. Oh boy, TJ Juxon back up in that end zone one more time. We're up 22 nothing, and you see this mostly, most of this, almost all game. TGIF Carter uh, just doing his thing. There's Skittle with the reception right there. And let's look at these starting lineups. Yeah, Gullius Boozer, Biscatine Twiskit. Fartrell Cluggins up against Nyquilius Dilwad, Quackadilly Bip, Blip, and Bismo Funyuns. What a squad. What a squad here we got here. <laughs> East West Bowl. Favorite theme of all time. Look at Jack Marius just dragging these little ass skinny bitches. Desquarius Green Jr., one of my favorite players as well. And we are rocking and rolling. <laughs> Look at him trying to grab onto his foot right there. <laughs> oh boy. 
Yeah, the game's not exciting because you know what's going to happen. You're going to see A.A. Ron Blake get sacked by huge dudes all the time. And there's E. Oh, what a special team stud E is as he scores once again. And watch as we rack up the score here. And things just continue to get worse for the Midgetards. And Ibrahim Bugshake is going to come all the way and just pick it up. Like, the dude's not even near the kickoff. And we recover and we're back in business. So it's just going to get worse for them. Desquarius Green. Desquarius Green Jr. scoring the touchdown. Let's speed it up a little bit. Again, here what's going to happen is this time it just goes right in the end zone. And it's a touchdown. Hey, just skip to the Ibrahim Bugshake. In for the touchdown as well, and this one here. You ever have a bad day, Nyquilius Dilwad? You ever have one of those days where nothing goes right, and a ball hits you square in the forehead, and then a huge seven foot tall, 400 pound black man <laughs> puts his helmet right into your forehead. He has to kneel down to go helmet to helmet to your little ass. And it lays you out, and you basically just die right there. You drop the ball, <laughs> and you are dead. Look at him just like, mm. he's doing equations and stuff because he got knocked back to the sixth grade. Damn. And I started getting bored here. I started locking on players here, and he just says, hey, buddy, just lay back and let it happen. You know how it is. You know how it is. A.A. Ron, Naquilius Dilwad gets hit again. And we just were creating turnovers. We're up 7 to nothing. Ibrahim Moisus just stands there taunting. <laughs> they can't even run. Like, that's what happens when you drop somebody's uh, rating down in Quiznatod business. Mm. Mm. Just getting wrecked right there. It's just like a, a porn star's butthole. Just getting wrecked every day. There's Bismo Funyuns. Oh, man, it's, it's just getting worse for these guys. TGIF Carter. I wonder when Key and Peele came up with these names, how much fun they had. I can sit here and name, make up names, right, too. I can just think of, like, the Johnson, Contarius Smith. See, I just made up a name, but they're, they're obviously more funny than me. That's why I took their name. They're TJ Jackson. One more time, dancing around like a fat man. Eating cake. Oh, hey, hey, Ron, please sit down. Please sit down. We discussed this earlier. We said, look, we are going to be knocking you on your ass this entire game. Even Tom Coughlin, who's a small man himself, is, is in much approval. And we just decided to waste time because we knew that even, even with all their tackling, TJ Juxon was going to find the end zone more often than not. And their Jefferson, yes, Sagittariot Jefferson is going to get in that end zone. And yeah, the route is on. But are you shocked here? Are you shocked? And who's that? Who's that? B J Billings Clyde. <laughs> <laughs> Who's that? Oh, does Isaiah T. Billings Clyde scores a touchdown for the Giants. And that's appropriate there that they're named the Giants as Shakira Kwan TGIF Carter gets in on that tackle. Oh, yeah. Washing Beard uh, in on the act. Yeah, Beezer 12 Washing Beard. But I want to know what Torque Lewis is doing on top of this. Pile up here. What is Torque Lewis doing? He is just all up on his boy right there. I don't know. And then look at that creepy look. It looked like a little bit like Steph Curry though, but here. Sometimes you just don't ask. Some and here, there he is, Dan Smith out of BYU. <laughs> Completes the pass. You knew he was going to show up. And you know. What happens after that? Yep, this, here's a bullet pass. Here, this Marcus Williams. Uh, here, one more time. Yes, touchdowns all around. And here at halftime, TJ Juxon highlights. We are up 159 to zero. To zero, okay? That's what we're doing here, man. We are beating them down. We are... We're 
freaking them up. Look at uh, distraught A.A. Ron Blake. Look at his halftime stats. 159, 204 passing yards, 136 rushing yards, two takeaways. And our average yards per play, 15 yards. Pretty good right there. There's that interception. Yeah, you know what happened. Demarcus Williams and T.J. Juxon leading the squad. As we go into the second half, what else is going to happen besides these little midgets, Benedict Cumberbatch, getting just tore up. Sequester Gunderplatt, MD, right on the doorstep, and we're going to end up punching it in. Now, what happens, and look at the comparison between TJ Juxon and Con Esther Smith. It's not even close. Oh, did you see that little dude get wrecked right there? Oh, my gosh. Sit down, boy. Sit down. Oh, my gosh. Just shoulders all around. You little ass bitch. I oh, just, I got to look at it one more time. It's just too much. And let's speed up this game rapidly. In fact, it got so boring. And we're just, watch the score just rack up. Yeah, I'm going to spare you the time, the agony, and the pain. And in fact, it got so boring that I handed the controller to my 10-year-old son and said, you play the rest of this game because I'm bored out of my mind. This was not fun to play, really, at all. Just be, you know, you ever do something and you just feel bad morally afterwards. That's how I felt. I felt like I needed a shower after this game. Just beaten up on these poor little kids, these fifth graders. And the score is 252 to nothing. And you'll notice here, finally, oh, sweet little play as he drags both feet. Who was that in the corner? Was that Jack Marius, Tech Theretics? Dragging his feet, putting him down. Yes, that went to review. And you'll notice here that, oh, look at these new NFL ref uniforms. Good job, Stripes. Yeah, that was a touchdown. You'll notice here that the score never goes past 255. That's it. That is the highest we can go. Just like the floor is the lowest you can go, that 255 is the highest we can go as the score remains as Juxon does a huge helicopter. Hingle McCringleberry in your foreground there as he does a huge helicopter and you'll see here the score remains unchanged yeah here's my 10 year old son playing the game <laughs> yeah I guess he doesn't he's not aware of the snap count but oh look at him get it though he knows what he's doing he's not stupid he knows what he's doing here had no worries that a 10 year old kid that's literally the same size as these other people that are on the field right now could get it done and we're sitting here speeding it up. Speeding up the game because, yeah, I'm going to spare you all the drama here of having to watch. You know, this game took about three and a half hours to play. And we're finally in the fourth quarter. And, yes, my 10-year-old son is still playing. This is his idea of fun. Right here. Look at that. He's got a wall of blockers. He's got a wall of blockers, everybody. And let's just, let's, yeah, he has no idea how to use replay. He tried to watch his own replay. And then eventually I just left the house. <laughs> All right. Like I was just like, yeah, I'm not even playing this game. I left the house and uh, Jesculius Morgun uh, plays and my kid paused it. I came back and the game could never activate again so i finally crashed the game so i hope you enjoyed huge players versus small players the east west bowl everybody so please leave a like comment or subscribe those things really do make me appreciate you five points gaming i am